Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday about Dev Career. And recently I've read a few tweets about the same topic, which is I don't have time to learn X. In my case, it was automated tests and it is pretty typical example. So people don't have time to write automated tests or start learning it because they are busy with the current project, with the current project's task, with current client work and stuff like that. It can be a different example, not necessarily automated testing. It may be deployment stuff. It may be some automation or optimization or something like that. You just don't have time to learn new things and adopt it in the project because you are, well, busy with the current to-do list, right? And that's pretty natural, right? But I have bad news for you. The reality is that if you don't make time, you won't find the time and you won't have the time. You have to make the time. And even worse news is that typically client will not pay for that time. So clients usually hire you or employers hire you because, well, you know something, you have to have knowledge for that. So if you cannot write automated tests, then probably you should not be hired for the task that requires writing tests or assumes that you would write tests, for example. So the cruel and harsh reality is this. The clients will not pay for you to learn. Majority of them. There are exceptions. There are pleasant exceptions, but majority, it's not their business that you would learn on the job, right? So you have to find the time yourself probably after work or negotiate your time within the work, negotiate with the client or employer so they would allow you to test something out and try it out and adapt on the current project. But in majority of cases, you have to learn and try outside of work on some demo project, on some open source project, on your personal idea, try automated testing, try some new things, new languages, frameworks, whatever that is. And then you would be able to not only adopt it in the current project, but also you will be able to add it on your CV or your resume or your GitHub or whatever with the pursuit of upcoming future jobs, future freelance gigs and future opportunities. So my main message is if you want to improve in your dev career, you need to find the time for extra activities, for learning something new. Otherwise, if you are focused only on your current job, current project and current tasks, you will not improve and you will make your current client happy. But in the future, if you are fired or if you just need to find new opportunities, it will likely strike you back and you will not get the job quite easily. So don't expect clients to pay for your time. Find the time yourselves. It doesn't have to be a lot of time. You can watch a lot of stuff from my own short videos on the Laravel Daily YouTube channel. So follow the channel for short tips and for this Saturday videos from my car about dev career and see you guys in other videos.